What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I want to go over my top 10 tweaks that I'm running on iOS 7.1.2. These are not new tweaks, these are just the top 10 tweaks that I'm using on my phone right now, my jailbroken phone. So the first one is 3G Unrestricted. 3G Unrestricted. So what that does, it basically gives you the ability to watch HD videos when you're, use, when you're not on um, Wi-Fi. So if you're just on regular 3G, then you could watch um, HD videos. You see right up here I got my YouTube, Netflix, my phone so I could FaceTime over um, 3G without actually using up all my cellular data. TV Go, that's for Comcast and uh, the real YouTube app right down there. So that's what I use. Um, so whenever I'm on 3G, I just watch HD videos without having to I mean, lowering the quality. So that's my first one. And then my second one, guys, is called Tiny Bar. Basically, it's for your notification center. So whenever you get a notification, it's not all big like the stock iOS. It just makes it tiny. Hence the name Tiny Bar. So let's open up Tiny Bar and let's mess with it a little bit. And you see that right there? See how small that is? Lower it. Make it. Higher. I could basically just mess with the whole thing slower and all that. Just set it up how I like it. And that's Tiny Bar, guys. It's real cool. And you should check it out. And then my third one is called Purge. And Purge is basically when you go to your app switcher. If I want to delete all the apps at once, all I have to do is just hold on to a page. And it gives me the option to kill all apps. Yes all the apps are gone just like that so that's purge guys and then the fourth one is called X key and what X key does basically is gives you the option to add a second row to your keyboard so let's go to notes new right up top you see I have the the numbers keyboard I mean the numbers up top so that's what X key does it gives you the option and then you could go to settings and configure this and put in basically whatever you want up top so let's scroll down X key let's purge and then you could basically just go in and add whatever you want see I have all the, the numbers right here so that's called X key guys so yeah, check that one out and then my fifth one is called CC toggles CC toggles basically gives you the option to have all these right here see right up top I have more than I, more than the stock iOS that's called let's say I have six right here so I could arrange them however I want to arrange them and I got my airplane mode just like that if I go to settings CC toggles right there I could basically choose all the toggles disable I got mute disable power off and all that I could enable them and do all that so check that one out guys it's called CC toggles and then the other one is called Byte SMS. I love Byte SMS. It basically takes takes over your stock iOS app. This is it right here. Right down here is that pink one. Tap on it. I'll go in. I could basically send messages just like that. And this also has quick reply. This whole thing just messed up my thing. Let's go back in there. Now let's take off wife on the airplane mode. See that? I got a quick reply right there. I could just reply just like that. And send. And also a cool thing is I could hit later and then you see that right up top right there. I still have the I still have the icon right up top right here told me that I have a message and I could also if I want to quick compose a message I tap the volume key right here and then I tap that and it gives me the option to send a quick message so let's exit out of that tap it again you see byte SMS right there oh, I missed it tap on it and it gives me the option to send a quick message or even call or do whatever I want to do. So that's Byte SMS, guys. And if you notice, when I tap on Byte on my message app, 
it asks me to use my fingerprint to enter my message. That's done with BioProtect. So BioProtect is my number, my seventh one, and just like that, I could lock any app I wanna I wanna lock. I, look, I even got my it cancel. Okay, open up that. Exit out. I even have my pictures locked just like that. So whatever you want to like, this is the perfect security for your phone. Even if I want to turn my phone off, if I go to turn my phone off, it won't turn off until I authenticate with my fingerprint. You see right there, I have to use my fingerprint to turn my phone off. So if you, somebody steals your phone and try to turn it off so you can't track it, they can't turn it off because you have to use your fingerprint to authenticate that. Hey, cancel and it goes back on. I go to settings and I'll show you by protect real quick. Where is it at? Right there. Use my fingerprint to get in. I got it enable vibrate on error, touch ID, and then applications. I could lock any application. All these right here. I have CDA locked, messages, and a couple other ones. I don't have a lot, but I have a couple other ones lock, but I could basically lock any message, any app. I want on my phone and that's BioProtect and my eighth one is called CC background let's go to settings CC background right here and if you notice when I go to my control center it's purple basically I could switch the color to that so I could put any picture I want just like that select an image I go in there and I could put that right there hit done after my phone respring then I enter in my phone I slide up and now I have this new image right there. It's kinda hard to see with that with the white tiger or the whatever it is. So yeah, that's called CC toggles guys. And my ninth one is called Bita Font 2. Bita font is basically my um font. You see my font is kinda different. Not kinda different, it's totally different from stock font. You see everything is different. So if I go to settings we're going to buy the font too. Where is it at? Hold on, I'm going to my city of folder right there. Buy the font too. And the, the font that I'm using is called KG Keep Your Head Up. And basically, you just switch up your font. You could just go in the city and download whatever font you like. I like this one. And that switches up my font. Let's go to notes real quick. Let's see if I can find some. Okay, so basically, this is like the World Cup stats. The World Cup, um, schedule that you know the World Cup is over so you can see the the um the font a little bit so yeah that's called buy the font too and my last and favorite one is called Spring to Mize 3 Spring to Mize you see how I have five icons down at the dock and my icons are smaller the icons at the dock is kind of bigger than the ones on the springboard so I have five and I have that little thing going on right there that's done with spring to mods too I mean three so tap on spring to mods right there I could do animation where I could speed it up but I have to respring after that I could speed it up so it's real snappy I could do the dock see I got dock right here I got the the size at a hundred percent size at a hundred percent for the dock folders I could mess with the folders I could do nested folders a whole bunch this is this is man it would take me a while to go over everything I could do with this the icons everything everything is just everything is just crazy you could just do so much with spring to my three the lock screen I could disable I could hide a whole bunch of stuff but I, I haven't really done a lot to it I just mess with the animation and like the icons so I could hide updates, lock layout, so everything is, you know what I mean, everything is just ridiculous. So that's how it's done, guys. Let's just do a respring. And when it does, it has this little cool animation when it resprings. So let's open up. See how snappy that is? Like everything is just snappier with this with this whole animation change and yeah that's basically it guys it's called spring to my those are my top 10 um, tweaks that I'm running on iOS 7.1.2 right now and the theme I'm running right now if you're wondering it's called Lixa that's it right there it's called Lixa it's pretty cool just like that I don't have a lot of um 
a switch. I don't have a lot of um tweaks because every time I, after a new jailbreak and I go to set up my phone, I always use less and less tweaks. I don't even I, I just even have one page, one page of stuff on my on my device. I every time I respring my phone, I mean reset up my phone, I just use less and less stuff. So there you go guys. If you guys want to know how to jailbreak 7.1.2, there will be a link in the description of that video. And it's Prince with ATP 101. Thanks for watching. Peace.